Thanks so much. Tonight we're going in depth talking about earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Two more reported today in the Midlands. This makes seven in less than two days. Now we're told both quakes hit near I-20 in Kershaw County, not far from Elgin. Uh, one was a 2.9, the other a 2.3. Now this is the same area that has seen multiple earthquakes uh, recently. Uh, dozens, in fact, reported since December. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer talked with an expert about the recent uptick we're seeing in Brooklyn. What's he saying about these quakes? Why are we seeing them all in that concentrated area? Well, Tori, seven earthquakes in over in the last 24 hours. Now it brings the total to 32 across the state this year. Now, why so many quakes? Experts say it's a mystery. That began on December 27th. Uh, 2021 with a magnitude 3.3 earthquake and it's been going on up until today. Five earthquakes shook South Carolina on Monday morning, including a notable 3.3 magnitude quake just outside Columbia. Two more on Tuesday, the latest in a series of quakes in the state this year. Sometimes in seismology we might call this an earthquake swarm. Scott White is a professor at USC and the director of South Carolina Seismic Network. He shared this photo of a seismic station in the upstate, which helps geologists measure the size of earthquakes and record data. We've had uh, about 32 earthquakes in this swarm, and they span range of magnitudes from a little bit less than 1.5 up to 3.3. Unlike weather, quakes are unpredictable and can happen at any time. They're all related to just the release of stress in the Earth's crust, where two big blocks of rock kind of slowly jag against one another and break. What's causing so many quakes? Our understanding of earthquake swarms and their triggers is still not really great in the field of seismology. Uh, it's a tricky thing to answer how the Earth relieves itself of stress. 